Yeah, thank you very much. So as was said, I'm here to present a webinar today on CMO, or Contract Manufacturing Organization, Supplier Quality Agreements. And more specifically, what you need to know to comply with the new FDA and EU GMP guidelines for contract drug manufacture. So we'll go on to the first slide. So um, first off, I'd, I'd like to ask a couple of basic questions here. What is a CMO quality agreement? Well, a quality agreement is a contract between a sponsor and a contract manufacturer detailing the GMP responsibilities of each party. It's used to assure the quality, safety, and efficacy of the manufactured drug. Now, what drug products are applicable to a quality agreement? Well, it's used for the contract manufacture of APIs, finished drug products, combination drug products, and also biological drug products. Quality agreements have been in use within the drug industry for many years, primarily as a means of detailing the quality responsibilities between both the sponsor and the CMOs. Traditionally, these agreements, they were custom written by individual companies, and therefore uh, there was great diversity in their content and requirements between the different companies. They were custom written. So recently, regula regulatory direction has been issued, and what this does is bring some clarity and consistency to these contracts. So on June 28, 2012, a draft of a revised EU GMP Chapter 7, this uh, chapter is called Outsourced Activities, was issued. Now, this uh, revised chapter became effective on January 31, 2013. In May 2013, the FDA issued a draft guidance for industry, and it was called Contract Manufacturing Arrangements for Drugs Quality Agreements. Now, currently, it's out still in out-for-comment status, so it's not finalized yet. Now, the scope. The scope of the FDA guidance and the EU GMP Chapter 7 is basically the same. It's applicable to any organization involved in the processing, packing, holding, labeling, testing, quality of a drug product. Now, what this includes are manufacturing facilities, contract labs, uh, warehouses, distribution facilities, IT vendors, uh, the ones that deal with GMP-related data, and any other GMP-related services and products. Now, the FDA makes clear that its guidance is applicable to commercial drug product, not clinical or developmental batch manufacture. Now, this is in contrast to the EU, the EU GMP chapter. It does not make this distinction, and therefore it's assumed that it applies to all GMP batches, both investigational and commercial. So there, there's uh, a distinction between the U.S. and the EU regs. Now, uh, there's different terminology used uh, between the uh, U.S. and the EU. FDA terminology, the guidance uses the uh, terms owner and contracted facility when it refers to the sponsor and the contracted CMO. Owner and contracted facility. On the other hand, the EU uses the terms contract giver and contract acceptor. So you need to know those terms in order to uh, understand uh, what, what these uh, uh, regulations are saying. Now, the FDA's use of the word owner the reason they use the word owner is it goes back to U.S. product liability laws, and they're saying the accountability lies with the organization that actually owns the product that's introduced into commerce. So if you own the uh, intellectual property, the trademark or the market license for the drug, you are the product owner to the FDA. Now, how about accountability? The FDA guidance is clear that the ultimate accountability for the drug product's safety and efficacy, it lies with the product owner. It's very clear on that. To the FDA, the contractors are an extension of the owner's own facility. Therefore, the accountability is with the owner. It is illegal to outsource GMP accountability to the contracted facility, and this is laid out in the FD&C Act. Now, the FDA guidance is also clear, on the other hand, that the contracted facility must comply with all applicable GMP regulations. 
After a GMP inspection of a contracted facility, it's conceivable that the FDA could issue two warning letters, one to the owner for violating GMP regulations and one to the contracted facility for complicity. So the EU identifies the contract giver, remember the different terminology, as having ultimate accountability for the product. Now, the quality agreement itself, what the guidance says, the FDA guidance, it recommends that a written quality agreement be produced that defines the respective responsibilities of the quality units of each party that's involved in the GMP contract manufacturer of a drug. Now, the FDA guidance emphasizes 